Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I'm a little bit late this week with the weekly oracle card guidance. Um, I've just been a little bit overwhelmed with the kind of work that I have to do at the moment and uh, or rather the workload that I have. And so I couldn't quite get to the oracle card reading on Sunday or on Monday. And so I'm doing this on Tuesday afternoon. However, the message resonates for the week. Uh, I would say the week or 10 days ahead. I usually say how long the reading goes on for in in the um, when I'm de delivering the message. It really depends on, you know, on the each, each option, but it's intended to go on for a week at least. All right. So this week I'm using the Rumi Oracle by Alana Fairchild and uh, I'm going to be doing a love reading, a love Oracle card reading. And we have three options here. We have option one option two and option three. Please go ahead, make a selection and you can go directly down to the timestamp. So for those of you who've chosen the first option here, we're asking, what is your love oracle card guidance? What is that guidance that you need to hear in terms of your love life, in terms of love in general? So the card we have here is called a new gown. And it's the number 18. So I want to say that you might have come across a different kind of feeling. You might have um, taken on almost a different persona in this last week or so, uh, where you might have felt that you're a different person, that you your needs are different. You require something different as far as love is concerned. And that um, you, you're not feeling the way you have over the last few weeks. It might be that you don't really feel this necessarily, but it's as if you are being urged to take a different perspective, to look at things a little differently. For some of you, um, old um, love interests or even obsessions may come into play. Um, it might be resonant with a couple of years ago or even like 10 years ago. Uh, but or seven or eight years ago, it might be something like this, but it might bring back a feeling uh, that you had a long time ago, a feeling that you had when you were younger, um, a feeling of love that uh, reminds you of something that you, you remember to be a part of your life. I think here there's an urgency for you to understand who you are and what your role is. And once you've done that, then you will be able to understand why you have this sudden impulse as far as love is concerned, if there is such a sudden impulse in your, your case, that is. There's something here about your love for your loved one being resonant with your love for the world. So it's almost like if you work with people, then the same love that you show in your work will be um, equivalent somehow to the love that you show to your partner. So the more love you show to others around will actually benefit the love that you have for your partner or the person that you love or the person that you're interested in. Now, if you don't have someone in your life and you're wondering, well, what does this mean for me? I think that ultimately this talks about you actually preparing yourself for somebody who might be coming into your life. You might be preparing yourself for the possibility that there might be somebody who's coming into your life. And there is a chance that there, there's a good, a good chance that there will be somebody um, not long from now in your life. I think this card here talks about um, adopting a new persona or changing your headspace around love or changing the way in which you appear to love or the way in which you understand yourself to love. I think this might also have something to do with your, your appearances, your dress, the way you project yourself, the confidence that you have in yourself. I think this is a time to review all of those things in terms of love and to be perhaps recreate yourself or reinvent yourself in some way. And I want to harken back to what I said just now. I feel like it might be that you, uh, you find yourself looking for a person that you used to be and you might find yourself trying to recreate a certain charm that you used to have that might have come automatically to you but has since uh, diminished in your life and so it's time to recreate that charm that that charm that only you have and that you that's um unique to you it's a time to 
kind of wear this new gown of um, of attraction even, I would go as far as to say that it's as if you need to find yourself attractive and find your way forth, your way ahead um, in attraction. So how do you understand yourself to be attractive and how what do you feel attracted to in yourself and how could you feel more attracted to yourself? What could you do for yourself in terms of material matters that would make you feel more attractive in terms of um, adorning yourself? I feel like it doesn't necessarily mean you've got to go out and buy anything, but perhaps you could adorn yourself differently and that would help you give give you this feeling of having a newness about you. But it's actually not a newness, it's something that you used to have that you might have uh, forsaken along the way. There's this idea of the preparation for love. There's this idea that love comes when you prepare for it. So if you've been somebody who's been hoping that things in the love department gets better or that you are able to um, attract somebody to yourself where you could have a love relationship, then I think that it very much depends on how you see yourself, whether you see yourself ready for having love, whether you see yourself attractive enough or um, and also um, recreating or redefining the relationship you have to yourself with regard to love. So I think here it's uh, this is kind of overhaul as far as, as far as love, as far as perception, as far as projection, as far as image is concerned uh, with regard to love and in order to improve your chances in love. There's a sense here that you need to show others or you need to show your loved one or you need to show others how one loves so it might be that you're not necessarily receiving this love that you would like or you desire this moment. But the uh, message here is to show that love by projecting it yourself, by loving yourself, by loving you, by you loving, you can actually project that and show it and others can be inspired by that and love in the same way. Or they could be in awe of your love and awe of and in wonder uh, about how you can love, how you can heal, how you can uh, project this beautiful energy and and that can move others or uh, influence others in a positive light. There is a sense here as well that you can create light in darkness. So if things look a bit bleak, whether in your relationship, whether in the world, however it is appearing to you, you can shine a torch into it, you can shine light into it and any kind of light is going to dispel darkness and so I think here that uh, that you can create goodness in the world by simply being you, by simply loving, by simply uh, believing in the light and the goodness that can be and the love that can be. I think I'm going to leave that there for you. It feels to me like that is um, the message that you that is associated with this card for you during this week. I wish you a very blessed week ahead and I hope that uh, you will find um, this love in yourself that this card shows me, this need, this desire to love in a way that you can love yourself, that you can appreciate yourself, that you can feel attracted to yourself as well. All right, so... I'm going to leave it there and I wish you a lovely week ahead. For those of you who've chosen the second option here, we are asking, what is your love oracle card guidance? What is your love oracle card guidance? What is your message for love as we go ahead? And so for those of you who've chosen the second option here, we have the card, I surge on the uprising wave of love. Now I feel here, it's the number five as well. I feel here that you might find that um, you have a lot of different love influences coming at you and it's almost uncontrollable. You might feel at times that you're feeling a little bit obsessive or you're feeling just a heightened sense of attraction or a heightened sense of love for someone. Um, it might be that you feel uh, very strongly about something and then that feeling dissipates, it goes away and then you 
um, you feel normal again and you wonder, oh, I wonder what that was about. It was just a phase. And I think that what you're going to find in this next couple of weeks is that you have very different phases of love, like you feel quite differently about it. You might feel, nah, I don't need this or this is not for me. And then you might feel like you absolutely have to have it and you have to be there with this person or you you need a resolution of some sort. And then you might feel quite indifferent towards the whole matter. So I think that um, this card here is talking about moods, different moods that you might have, but very strong, very intense moods. I feel here that it's also an opportunity for you to be able to get back into the love scene if it's something that you've not been in for a while. It might be a chance for you to take a different look at how um, you how you view love or what you think about love. I feel that what might be happening right now is not necessarily um, uh, the truth. It might not necessarily be what is the real nature Um of what is actually happening it might be that right now there's a lot of uh, high energies flowing there's a lot of pomp perhaps there's a lot of uh, um, display of something a great powerful display but it's not necessarily that uh, that when things die down when this energy dies down there's almost a sense that things uh, are quite mundane they can be quite calm quite simple um it can still be beautiful, but it's not as dramatic. It's not as uh, powerful. It doesn't doesn't have this crescendo um, resonance that that it might have at this moment here. I feel once again that if you've been out of the dating game for a while, if you don't have someone in your life, it's now the time to actually look at how you can uh, perhaps meet somebody or just to be open for love, just to. Uh, put yourself out there and be open uh, for love and for um, some kind of relationship or some kind of interaction with someone. It might be that you're not interested in a relationship, but it's time to go out there and feel some of this energy. You might find yourself feeling attracted to somebody or you might find yourself feeling quite romantic or you f might find yourself just engaging on love, in love in a very different way. You might also find that uh, in this week that you have a very heightened sense of uh, sexual energy and it, it could be that you um, are feeling a little, that a little bit more intensely as than you normally do. For some of you, you might find that this uh, surge in energy as far as love or um, um, passion is concerned might be a distraction from your daily activities. It might be a distraction from your divine activities from your prayer um from other other aspects of your life uh perhaps uh it you find your mind being drawn uh in one direction a lot and and this is quite a polarizing kind of energy it feels to me like it almost sweeps you off and pulls you in one direction you're just thinking about that only and you can't quite extract yourself from it it's almost feel it feels quite obsessive actually I think here, if you are suddenly feeling some kind of attraction to somebody that you haven't necessarily met, it could be um, a, a, some kind of celebrity or some um, famous person. It's not really, it doesn't really have something to do with you having a connection to them necessarily, but simply you uh, feeling that way about them um, is a lot of information for yourself to understand something about your own needs and about what it in you needs to be balanced or needs to be healed. If you find yourself seeking a particular uh, display of emotion or a particular um, um, kind of um, uh, expression of love in your life, if you're expecting this from your partner, or you're expecting this from someone around you, you might find that those people don't really meet your expectations at this time because you have quite a high projection or you you demand quite a lot at this moment. Or it might be that you're on the receiving end of somebody who's demanding quite a lot at this time because that is it feels like that that's the energy, right? So it might be that somebody really has suddenly quite a lot of demands from you and you're not sure who this person is or where all of this has come from, but it's just a temporary thing. It will go away. It's like... Um, it's like uh, kind of um, the surge of the full moon, uh, a super moon or powerful full moon. And then as the um, the moon phases uh, change, the surge is lowered and it goes away and it's almost non-existent at some point. So it's, yeah, it's like you can, you can liken it to the tides. 
there's definitely a feeling here that this is just a phase and this is going to end and this is going to be uh, something that passes and it's not something that one should pay too much of attention to. I think as far as um, as it being a, a permanent matter or permanent love or a permanent uh, state of emotion, I think that's very unlikely. And so I think that here, this is something that you're probably going to experience for a few days, five days or 15 days, uh, maybe 10 days, something like this. And then after that, it's going to be whooshed out of your life. And as you find that you are free from these emotions, you might want to look back and wonder why is it that you had this heightened emotion you might want to take that moment now and ask yourself what is behind the surge of energy what is what is it that we come back to the first um, point that i made what are my needs at this moment and why what is it that i feel that i require what is it that where is it that my needs need to be fulfilled and how is it being um expressed in this particular way at this moment so I feel that for this card for those of you who've chosen the second option here it's very much about what is behind this emotion what is behind this display or this outburst of emotional energy uh, or passion what is truly required here what is this well that's truly dried up that needs to be filled again um, and how is it actually showing that it's dried up how is it um, portraying itself perhaps it portrays itself as being full of vibrant energy full of lust and then you know but behind that behind that facade is just complete loneliness and emptiness and and something that's really almost dried up and so I think that um, the 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 idea here is to perhaps get deeper to get behind what is required from this emotion this emotion comes up right now because there's a need for it to come up there's a need for it to display itself so that you can go behind it and look at what is truly needed if you aren't feeling any of the search that's uh, showing in this card here or that I'm talking about I think that this is a time where you can pay attention to some of your thoughts and some of your feelings around uh, love around attraction around um, passion and around uh, how you feel about romantic ideas etc I think that it could be a time where you might feel the need to beautify your surroundings to beautify something in yourself to um, perhaps uh, do an overhaul of your home or to do something that uh, makes you feel like you beginning anew like there's a new yeah a new start like there's something that's pushing forth a new start it's almost like birthing a new start okay so I'm gonna leave this message here for you and I hope that that helps you I hope that it uh, sheds some light upon what you might be feeling or experiencing in the next couple of weeks and I wish you a very blessed time ahead and so for those of you who've chosen the third option here we're asking what is our love oracle card guidance this week what is it that we need to know about love so we have the card here that says enter the garden of delights and it's the number 28. So I feel here as far as this week is concerned that there's a lot of opportunity to be able to feel love in things around you in terms of um, creating romance in your life in terms of bringing um, happiness to yourself, bringing a smile to yourself. Perhaps it has to do with the simplicity of just uh, painting something or, or sketching something, or perhaps it has to do with the um, with, with self-care, looking after yourself, doing something for yourself that brings a smile to your face, that makes you feel good about yourself. There's also a sense here that you may feel like decorating or beautifying your home uh, with something adding more color or adding a different color or perhaps changing uh, things out because of a season change there's a sense here that there's a lot of joy and a lot of love that can be brought from things outside of you right now so it feels like this love can come in from uh, from things as well as from within union or from within relation relationships it also feels as if like this love can uh, or the love that you can experience right now can be highlighted or um, be, uh, yeah, be, have a spotlight on it because of something that is created around the home or in your, in your personal environment, whether it has to do with you doing something to your own body or whether it has to do with you doing something to your car uh, or your home 
or, you know, your dinner table or something like this. It feels to me like there's a lot of uh, love that can be created by simply uh, being cozy in some kind of way or perhaps not being cozy, but being doing something for the home, whether it be cozy, whether it's being uh, making it more vibrant, whether it's changing out the energy completely, whether it's changing the feng shui, uh, doing something for, for the home. I feel here as far as love is concerned, uh, in terms of being with a person, there's a sense of there being um, a chance to uh, excite yourself or delight uh, yourself at something that another does uh, there's a chance that you can feel happy very excited about something that you can create by yourself or that can be created by someone around you it might also feel here that you might need to nudge that person into creating that for you you might need to say to them okay well how about we do x y and z or i would like you to do this for me or i would like uh this uh, to be the case and then you kind of spell it out for them and then they do it and then brings delight or it brings this kind of happiness because they've gone ahead and done something and showed you that that they actually care about you they showed you that what they actually uh, feel and and how they want to please you there's another message here I feel like your hormones or a particular mood something physiological in you uh, could be impacting how you feel about love at this moment or how you respond to love. So you might have some hormonal changes or you might have some kind of hormonal shifts, um, whether you're male or female, and um, it can kind of uh, rear its ugly head in a way um, because it makes you feel a particular way. It makes you, it heightens certain emotions, it heightens uh, a certain kind of sense of of what you believe love to be or what you believe attraction to be or what you believe passion to be and so I feel like this is something that one might be experiencing maybe you or your partner and and to some extent it could also be um quite a burden for your partner if you if there is that feeling going on it's almost like you're going through a phase you're going through a phase where everything looks like like there's rose colored glasses and you kind of see things in a way that is not exactly the way it is and uh, as this phase lifts and as you as it moves away from you you're going to find that things come back to uh, where it was and I would say that right now is uh, the ideal time to be able to really rejoice in terms of the love that you have in terms of how it is that you uh, bring the love into the world that you have how it is that you paint that love that you have into the into the world and how you express it, not just for you or yourself or for your home, but for others as well. I feel here yeah, that there's a great potential to be able to explore something different in a relationship or to be able to explore an, another aspect of yourself within the relationship. So it might be that you just kind of stumble upon something new, something fresh, something different, and then you decide to um, invite this or uh, allow this into your relationship and as you do so, there's something wonderful that happens. It's almost like fireworks. It brings out a completely different reaction from your partner. And um, it might be a really good reaction. It might be something that you might be really excited about. Okay, so that's just one aspect. I feel like if you're a single person and you're getting this message, it might be that it's time for you to uh, re um, revisit love or revisit what your what your idea of love is. It might be that you've made a decision a while ago to not engage in love, but now there's suddenly a chance that you're feeling all um, excited about love again, you're feeling attraction again, and perhaps to somebody particular, or perhaps also just generally, and you find that there's a chance to revisit how your how you have previously thought about love so it's almost like you there's a chance here to be able to look at where you've come from in terms of love and what is the potential and where can you go in terms of love i think that there's a huge amount of undiscovered emotions as well as understanding um and experience of love that um that's still out there that you can still experience there's almost a sense that um you haven't even begun to love. There's almost a sense that there's so much more to discover and there's su it's such an exciting adventure that uh, not in a bad way, but in a good way, in a way that brings you into wonder and into joy. And 
I feel like this card is saying, well, you know, just, just open yourself to that, open yourself to that. And what you're going to find is that it's going to fall into your life. You don't even have to do anything. You just have to say to yourself that I'm now open for this. This also includes people who are in relationships where you might be feeling dissatisfied and might be feeling like things aren't really working out in the way that you wanted it to work out. And so I think that here it's just the simple belief that it can happen, that you can have a better situation or there's this potential for things to get better in your relationship or in terms of love generally and then suddenly it arrives there's this I feel like there's a lot of opportunity that a lot arrives for you I must I don't mean opportunity necessarily in meeting many different people but I feel like many opportunities to experience or to express love that can actually come into being that can actually has a, a place in this world has a place in your life regardless of where you are at in your life right now it feels to me like there's a lot of opportunity here for her greater goodness and that could be in terms of love and attraction and romance with the particular person or it could mean in terms of uh, creating um, a new love reality for yourself where there is um, kind of appreciation for all the, the the wonderful things that you have in life yeah, I feel like there's, I want to choose another message here. I want to, I want to just choose another card and see if something else comes up for you. So the second card I've drawn for you is the number 41 and it call, it's called the Victory of Miriam. You know, this card here is a very subdued energy and this one is quite a fiery energy. It's quite, it's about taking control. It's about creating this love. It's about moving ahead. It's about forging ahead and um, it's like a really powerful energy. And this one's simply about whisp whistling as you walk through a, a field of daisies or something like that. I get the sense from this card that your love has a healing component to it and well all love has a healing component to it but it feels here to me that as you love whoever that it is that you love however you love it heals them it heals not just them but it heals their ancestral line it heals their love their previous love relationships it heals their family it heals them it heals their country I don't know it feels to me like it, it you know it could be your country as well obviously but it feels to me like this love is so great that it it's greater than the person it's greater than than you and them it's like a love that cannot be contained it's just a beautiful great love and I feel here that um that this is yeah it's definitely a different aspect I felt as I drew this card I felt like um, yes, this is a card, but it just didn't feel like it was complete. And this energy here feels more complete for you. It feels like um, there's a sense here that you can go to the ends of the earth with this love. You know, there's a sense that if you were to embark upon a system of um, appreciation, of understanding um, and, and delighting in love or delighting in in the in the offerings of one another um including the offerings that you have for the world that there's a potential for that to grow into something much greater and much more um encompassing and that there can be a lot that can come from that including healing power i feel here that you know your love is so strong or your belief at the moment is so strong or it's can, it can be so uh powerful that you can bend things to fit you okay so you know you can bend something to so that it can actually be what you desire so if you're wishing for somebody to contact you or if you're wishing for um for something to shift in terms of love i think that this is an energy here that can make that that happen and it feels almost like these are two different readings um but it feels like you could create something which would send love to somebody and 
and they could it brings it brings like them closer to you or something like this or it draws them to you um but this love that that is you know you're sending out is a very uh deep sense of understanding and uh a deep sense of um of love and there's a huge generosity in that there's a huge kindness in that um there's a lot of giving as far as that is concerned and it's giving in terms of energy in terms of love in terms of soul um so i think that this is quite a complex reading and uh i feel like this aspect of it is something that perhaps a couple of you are resonating with i don't know let me know but uh, i definitely feel like if you're in a home environment with someone then the way the advice for you this week is to go ahead and make your home beautiful and make your dinners beautiful and make uh, little things around your home beautiful for your love and delight in that and appreciate that and appreciate the the wonder and the, of the simplicity of it and but if you are away from this person if you're far away from this person or you're not really able to meet this person right now uh you can actually bring them to you with your love and with your healing power with your essence uh, you can send your essence of love and understanding and deep compassion to them. And this can draw them closer to you. Uh, regardless of whether it brings that person closer to you or not, it brings something greater to you for having dispelled this, for having given off of this energy. There's a sense that you're holding on to this love and what, it needs to, what you need to do with it is just to let it go, let it flow from you, from your heart. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. I have to say that this week it was a little bit difficult for me to get around to doing the, the readings. And I found that this particular um, uh, option here was is quite difficult. Um, and so I, um, yeah, it was, it was, um, <laughs> I have to say I had a little bit of resistance and I don't know whether it has to do with the Mercury retrograde or the energies, uh, but I definitely struggled a little bit <laughs> with getting this uh, oracle reading out to you guys this week i'm happy that i was able to finally and i hope that these messages resonated and that you have a brilliant week as you go along many many blessings to you and blessings abound from kismet rising